Hi and welcome to the James Neil Cooper channel. It is Friday the 2nd of September 2022. A warm welcome to the channel. My name is James Neil Cooper. And let me introduce you to some people who are saying hello to my channel on the Free Gorges Dam itself. Hey and welcome to the James Neil Cooper Hi channel. Hi and welcome to the James Neil Cooper Hi channel. Hi and welcome to the James Neil Cooper channel. Hey and welcome to the James Neil Cooper channel. To the James hey and welcome channel. to the James Neil Cooper channel. Pickle is doing well and an update of this beautiful baby kitten will be at the, well, towards the end of the show. Now, let's go into straight away a couple of questions that I had yesterday from David. And if you know the answer for this because of your engineer or whatever architect, please let me know related to this. David said, what if those sluice gates buckled? Well, I could imagine myself and I don't know the degree that they can go up to the temperature and whatever below the freezing point is there. I apologize for the noise. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but we have some workers down below. And another one from David as well, a question, could the concrete, could the concrete could implode with heat? Well, possibly anything is possible near enough maybe so if you do know any of these answers please um reply to them in the comment form below now free gold dam levels are low now don't take my word for it this is a picture here right now from 23rd to the 24th of august so just over a week old when some of these social influencers actually went to the free gorges ying chang to have a look at the whole area and so this is sort of like the latest picture a little bit sloppy by some of the ccp shields who went there and what did they do when they went there well have a look This is a question which I don't really understand. Why would a Chinese government organization promote something related to coming to visit China, so to speak, when you can go to China? You, I'm not too sure if you can get a tourist visa at the moment for China, but you've got a 10 day lockdown period when you'll be in quarantine for 10 days, which would be like really expensive and airline tickets cost an arm and a leg. It's very strange why they would promote this. What are they trying to do? I don't know. Maybe they've seen my channel and go, oh, let's send some social influencers to the Free Gorges because the James Neal Cooper channel is always telling the truth. There are no levels or weather on this channel for today, but I did have one comment saying, I really look forward to the breaks in your channel. Well, this, little break coming up right now is the laziest job and most inefficient job in the world. Now, what else is happening in China? I did say in the title related to COVID-19, there have been some outbreaks in Chengdu, which is in Sichuan, Chongqing, Shenzhen, Wuhan, 
and some other places. And people are actually panic buying. You can see with the videos in a moment or two with that. They're not necessarily scared of the COVID-19 itself because most people in China have been injected. They're afraid of the zero COVID policy, which means if one person catches it, the whole community will be trundled off to a detention center, a quarantine center, which looks like this. Okie it's time for a little break. Now, when you were young, did you always want to play the drums? I certainly did. Okay, one more piece of news. In Xinjiang, we're not talking about the Uyghurs, but we're talking about the weather. August the 20th, 2022, it started to snow in the northern reaches of Xinjiang. Xinjiang is in the northwest of China. It's the size of Turkey, it's really massive. So I could imagine these uh, pictures were taken of the far north of this province of China. I'll rephrase that, supposed province of China. Okay, it's time for a little bit of pickle. And what has Pickle been up to? You can see right here having a little bit of milk, but I'd like to say hello to uh, Miss Annette, who donated $4.99 to Pickle's foundation fund for his injections and food in the future and uh, vet visits. He's doing very well. And you can see the latest full video on Tokyo and Pickle's channel. So let's have a look what he's up to. Whoa. She always see the pink one only. <laughs> mama, mama, mama. Me. Mo. And some of you may say, where is Tokyo? You only show pickle, 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 pickle. Well, he's fine. And let me show you right now. I'm going to pick up my iPhone with the noise and go to where he's sitting on his normal window. Okay, so where is Tokyo? Sorry about the noise. A little bit loud, a little bit loud. He is behind there. He is behind there. Let's see what he's doing. Whoop. Um. Hello. Hello. Ooh. Oh, Toki. Let's say hello. Oh. You want to come down? So Tokyo is fine. Are you fine? Yes, you are, you big, beautiful cat. 
And that brings us to a close on Friday, the 2nd of September. Thank you so much for your time. It's one thing that I can never, ever give back to you. And many thanks to the people who do subscribe. Hello to all the members on Patreon and also the members here on YouTube. A big thanks to all the people who do support Tokyo and, well, uh, Tokyo and Pickle through the super thanks. If you do want to do so... All the links are in the description below and the super thanks is very close to where the thumbs up sign is, I do believe. Be good, be well, thank you so much and I will see you the next time. From Pickle, Tokyo and myself, it's bye bye and bye bye. Oh, Sophie is shopping for Tokyo food at the moment.